Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vanessa and we're taking a look back at some of our favorite moments with Brandy on HipHollywood.com. Now I have to admit I've been a huge Brandy fan since way back. I'm talking I want to be down days and over the years I've been lucky enough to interview Brandy many, many times and I'm not saying we're BFFs but we definitely bonded. One of my favorite interviews was with both Brandy and Ray J and she broke it down about how sometimes she had to put her brother in check. Sometimes when Ray goes on his business ego trip, which is very seldom with me, very seldom with me, I must say. You start chastising me about business. Check my bank account. Check my bank account. Don't come at me no. like that. Don't Ray J me. I have to bring him back to the middle because, dude, like, don't do that because that's never been our relationship. It's never going to be our relationship. And if, you know, the mind or the ego tries to steer us into that direction, I will bring it back to where we belong. And that's what I meant. Don't Ray J me because that's never been our relationship. And he knows that. That was on display when Brandy played at Hollywood's Key Club, and I was fortunate enough to be there for the amazing sound check, and so was Ray J. When you perform, everybody that comes out and supports you, you know, you see those people and it makes you feel good, and it makes you perform better, and um, it gives you that sense of, of, of comfort to go out and have a good time, and, and you know that there's, there's people out there that's gonna support you no matter what happens. And during our girl talk time, Brandy also let me in on a very surprising little secret. I developed stage fright when I was very young, and wow. so, you know, to be a part of something so small, it doesn't remind me of, you know, that moment where I was completely like, oh my God, this is too crazy, this is too much. That probably explains why she prefers to play smaller venues when she performs. The way As a Brandy fan, I thought I knew pretty much everything, but what I didn't know is that she will cry. And I'm talking like boo-hoo. And she did plenty of that during the shooting of Family Business. The people, listen. Oh God have mercy. You should be telling them. Because that's where the negativity is coming from. I've always been a crier. I've always been like a sensitive, delicate, you know, person always in my life, you know, but I have a feisty side too. Then it's not okay. enough of that. It's like, oh, season two, we gotta get a little stronger, honey, because season one, I'm an emotional wreck. I oh, can baby. connect with that though, because I cry over everything. I Literally, cry everything. 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 Sad, happy, excited. Exactly. Nervous. It's like every emotion deserves a tear. It's like, lady, it does not. <laughs> it does not. Of course, being famous and fabulous and glamorous means you have to have famous, fabulous, glamorous friends. And one of Brandy's closest friends is tennis champ Serena Williams, who earlier this year hosted an incredible house party here in LA. She's just, she's just a loving, affectionate, loyal, genuine person. Never have to question her intent. On top of that, she's an inspiration. She motivates all of us to be the best we can be. She's a champion, and I mean, I'm kind of numb to her success now because she just wins all the time. So all she does is win. So I'm just, I'm just happy to be, you know, friends with somebody like that that can also inspire me and encourage me to, to be the best Brandy I can be.